Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to start with uh, the very basics of creating an application. I'm going to actually just uh, create the database connection. So we have our app, uh, we have JDeveloper opened, and we go to View. And you can see here on the View menu there's a database and database navigator. Right now there's nothing there. We would press the green and uh, green plus sign, and we get this screen here. Okay, let's quickly go over to our database and check out where we get this information from. Go over to Windows Explorer. I already have it open here, and you can see in this particular um, computer, it's in the App Stewart product, 11.2 DB Home Network Admin. And here I have my tnsnames.org file. Now, you never really want to um, mess with this, but you can come in and open it up. And if, um, if you don't have access to this, then you should ask your DBA for it. Now, uh, the host that I have is Stuart PC. 1521 is pretty much a default port, and the service name is ORCL. So let's go back to our application. And we'll put the username or the connection name that I want. And this happens to be HR. And the password is intelligently enough HR, mostly for remembering, remembering sake. Stuart PC. And that would be the PC that it's hosted on. Um, in, in this case, it's on my current box. And I have a full-blown version out. So I'm going to test the connection, and it's a success. OK, so I'm going to quickly create an application here. And we're just going to create a um, a new one here. Just a minute. I'm going to find the directory that I want to put it in. I'm going to put zero 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 since it's the base and uh, <clears throat> application one db connect. And we'll make it a Fusion application. Basically, you can just accept the defaults. OK, now once you have this, this is um, kind of helpful if you're beginning, but um, after a while, you get bored with it. Once you have the DB connection here, you can just drag and drop it in, which is really quite easy. So it's nice to keep the connections in the ID connections area. And there it is. And then you can also come over here and take a look at all the tables and all the objects. And this is basically a SQL nav or a SQL developer window. And also over here you can get uh, database worksheet. I've never been able to get SQL Plus to work on this, but I haven't really tried either for that matter, um, because this worksheet does fine. Um, and that's basically um, how you do it. So you can uh, you have a lot of control over the database from here too. We won't go into that, but I just wanted to create a quick, dirty video, a d quick and dirty video on connecting to a database. I hope this will be helpful and have a good evening. Please be sure to see some of my other videos on my channel. And here it is. Um, this is my channel, however. Hopefully this one is where they are alphabetically listed. Um, the numbering system here is designed to hopefully keep things in order, but unfortunately the channel only sorts it, uh, sorts it by date. Okay, have a good evening, and uh, I hope this is helpful.